just get on this let's go oh my goodness hold on let's do that again oh my goodness so that was this morning and i've since had some time to accept the fact that i gained weight this week but Deep down, I knew that I wasn't going to be happy with the scale. I just knew I did not have a great week and I was not my best. So I was not completely surprised, but I was still disappointed. So COVID hit our house hard this week and we all got sick. So me, my husband, our eight kids and my elderly mother-in-law that lives with us. So it was a lot. It was definitely a lot to deal with. But in hindsight, that was a blessing in disguise because normally when we get sick, it takes forever to get better. So if you have a big family, you know what I'm talking about, but like one or two people will get it. And then a week later, a couple of other people. And then a few days after that, a couple of more people. And honestly, like by the time it goes through the whole house, it's easily been like a month and it just feels like that's your life. Like it just feels like you're it feels like an eternity. So although it was hard, us all being sick, now we kind of turned the corner pretty much all at the same time. And I'm just ready to put that whole thing behind us and, you know, forget that it happened. But um, definitely it was a lot. So what happened was that my daughter's school sent an email and actually I should mention I still do homeschool but my 16 year old decided she wanted to try high school and so we allowed her to do that and so I still homeschool everybody else but she's going to school um, we got an email from the school saying that they had COVID in the building they had several cases of COVID and basically keep your kid at home if they had a fever it was the day after that that her and my husband got sick and so i went to walmart and i picked up a bunch of things because i knew i had a feeling that it was going to spread like wildfire so i go to walmart i just did order pickup i didn't go in the store but i pick up all the things that i think my kids um might want so like apple juice applesauce ice cream popsicles ramen lots of ramen because i knew i was not going to be making homemade soup if i got covid and you know just like other things ironically um nobody had an appetite everybody lost their appetite which obviously when you're sick i realize that you tend to eat lighter and you just don't really feel like eating unless of course you're me then that doesn't apply apparently i become a ravenous beast when i'm sick because i just could not stop eating other than like the day and a half that i had a fever those days i i was not overeating but all the other days yeah i was just constantly thinking about food it was really like a flip was switched and all the food noise came back and i have not felt it that strongly since i started this medication so it was a little crazy a little scary but it is what it is i just was very no i was about to say i was hungry no i wasn't that was the whole problem i was not hungry i was just eating for the sake of eating which is how i got to be 80 pounds overweight I was not eating because I was hungry. It was stress that was driving me to overeat. And so I kind of had that same thing happen again, which makes sense because having a house full of kids with COVID is stressful and you know, any sickness. And so, yeah, I was reverting back to my old ways and dealing with food to kind of soothe myself and you know, using that as a way to deal with, with everything that was going on. So take this as a cautionary tale and as a reminder that the emotional side of this journey is very real and it's something that we absolutely can't neglect. We absolutely have to deal with that. And I actually thought that I was doing pretty good with that. And, and I know I have made huge changes. I'm definitely not the same person I was pre Zepbound. Um, I'm a totally different person now. But nonetheless, this has shown me that there's still work that needs to be done. So obviously, as I mentioned, I was stress eating and that stress eating triggered all those thoughts I would have before starting Zepbound. So like, I don't, maybe you can relate, but I'd have like some ice cream and then the inner dialogue I'd have with myself sounded something like, well, you already over ate today, you already ate more than you know you were supposed to, so you might as well just finish the rest of the ice cream because 
there's no use in salvaging the day it's already ruined you might as well just go for it <laughs> and I used to have those thoughts like all the time it was just like unless I was perfect it just wasn't worth doing anymore I have made improvements with that like tremendous improvement with that but apparently it's still there in the back of my head and I do realize that that's not the right mentality to have it's very toxic and none of us would talk that way to our best friends to you know our kids or anybody that we love we would be we, we just would never talk that way we would never say well you messed up so you might as well give up right we just wouldn't do that so I do realize that it's bad and it's you know not not what I should be doing but it is what it is that's kind of what I was telling myself and I knew that I was wrong but I just I gave in to that old pattern you know and so it's just a reminder to myself that even though I have made changes and I've come really far that there's there's still work to do and I can't get complacent and I can't I can't let Zepbound be a band-aid for this whole thing it's easy for me to rely on the fact that i have this medication to sort of be my guardrail at all times and of course i absolutely love the fact that zepbound helps me to make better choices i love the fact that zepbound helps me to be more in control of what i'm eating and how much i'm eating but obviously I don't know how much time I'll have on Zepbound. Like my insurance did approve it for another year, but that doesn't mean that they're going to not drop coverage of it. Like they absolutely could decide tomorrow that it's just not worth it and they're not gonna cover it anymore. And so I guess I have to use this time that I do have the medication to really, really, really work through, like I said, the emotional side of overeating and just really focus on what it is that causes me to overeat like what are my triggers that cause me to stress eat and figure out ways that i can alleviate that without turning to food so i actually thought i was becoming one of these people that would use exercise um, that would exercise when i felt you know angry frustrated upset whatever you know and i think that's true but i need to think of something else because obviously if i'm sick or if i get hurt and you know i can't work out for whatever reason i need to find another outlet because exercise might not always be available right so i need to think of something else that i could do that's not just exercise that can fill in that gap and keep my mind busy when i'm feeling stressed so maybe going for a walk um doing a puzzle or something so with that said i'm actually more determined than ever to turn this ship around and kind of get back on track so obviously you're watching this on wednesday i'm filming it on tuesday so i did start my 75 soft challenge again yesterday and i'm doing pretty good with that so far today so i'm just gonna continue with that and focus on that i'm not gonna let this setback um, completely derail me even though that is absolutely what i would have done in the past i'm just gonna just i'm just gonna put it behind me it is what it is and you know i made a mistake and half the battle is knowing that i made a mistake i guess and knowing that i could do better and that i will do better so i just want to encourage you that if you're kind of feeling unmotivated or like you know like you're in a funk and you just feel like you haven't really been making a lot of progress in your journey to not let that discourage you and just you know tomorrow is a new day and just focus on what you've done so far focus on the progress that you've made and put put it behind you don't let that completely derail you because it's it's not that's that attitude is not going to serve you and you're just going to be very discouraged talk to yourself the way you would talk to your best friend and encourage yourself that way because honestly guys this journey is hard and it's long it's lifelong actually so we just can't be with that all or nothing mindset anymore. We just gotta get rid of that. So maybe a challenge is what you need to kind of build up that motivation and inspiration again and get that momentum going. It does not have to be 75 days. I'm just a glutton for punishment apparently. It can be, you know, two weeks or a month or whatever, you know, feels right to you. And 
maybe you're like a visual person like I am and so writing it out and um, having like a little calendar so that you can check off the days maybe something like that helps motivate you I know when I started the walking challenge in April and May I printed out a little calendar that I made and it was really nice every day checking off every day that I completed and so this time around I actually did something similar I took little tiny post-it notes and I put them on my closet door and I numbered them one through 75 and so every day of the challenge like at the end of the day when I completed the challenge I just rip off one of the post-it notes it could be something simple like that I don't know I guess I'm just rambling just don't give up don't be too hard on yourself give yourself grace and move forward so that's my cautionary tale just be careful about those old patterns creeping back in or barging in in my case and making sure that you're making time to address them so um, a couple of weeks ago I had made a video about some tops that I was getting and you guys were helping me pick those out. I did get them and I have not opened the packages yet because I wanted to do that with you guys and so I have something in my eye now of course but I was wondering if I should do a live. I'm not sure about that because I've never done that before. Ouch I think it's mascara that got in my eye so it's burning. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that though because I've I'm just I'm intimidated to do that and knowing that I can't edit out bloopers um, but at the same time I think it'll be really fun so let me know in the comments if you think that if you think that that's something you'd be interested in if you think that's you know something that you'd enjoy participating in and I'm going to give myself room to back out of it because I really am worried about making a fool out of myself but I, I do think it'd be fun so just let me know if you think you would be interested in that if I do do it I might do it this Friday because I just I want to see what I got and and I need those clothes <laughs> so I don't want to put it off like too too long um, anyhow that's all I have for you today guys I hope you have an amazing rest of the week thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon bye